two minutes to go, two minutes to go. All I need to do now is assemble it and I'm really worried because the weight of the lobster could really tumble and it just could go everywhere. Well done. OK, you've got 60 seconds left. It looks fantastic, Charles. Where are you going? That's the way. Beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful. Well done, Justin. Well done, oh, Justin! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Well done. Wow. Well done. Thank you so much. That is great. <laughs> At the end of the challenge, the two dishes go on the plate, and I've got to say, she has a real shot here. Justine and Guy, I'll get you to bring your plates forward to the bench. Justine, your plate one. And Guy, that makes you plate two. The three judges will now taste your dishes and each give them a score out of 10. The winner will be the person who gets the highest score out of the combined total of 30. Thank you. The lobster's well seasoned. The mayonnaise is nicely made, it's nice and thick and got a lot of flavour. You even pick up some of the beetroot juice, which is a nice sweet overtone on the end of the palate. But the lobster is a little bit undercooked for me. Happy to eat that, but presentation could be better. It's a really clean dish in terms of flavour, but I just think it could be taken to another level in terms of salt and lemon. It's just a little bit dull on the palate. It's a little bit lacking in terms of the execution, in terms of some of the technique and how the lobster's cooked and the absence of any real acidity to balance the richness of the mayonnaise and the seafood. Lobsters cook nicely, I think. The medallion that I had was really nice, tight, round, firm, good texture. The vegetables are diced really beautifully, really nicely. Some attention to detail there. What I don't like about it is that the mayonnaise is very thin, and I think with a lobster, it needs more salt for me. It's not hugely different from the other one, to be perfectly honest. Mayonnaise for me is not a mayonnaise, it's more like an eggy vinaigrette, hence we can see all the vegetables. So, you know, what is it supposed to be, a mayonnaise or a vinaigrette? Oh, I'm sure it was supposed to be a, a mayonnaise. Um, interesting, really interesting. The lobster is beautifully cooked. Um, the, the salad is as much about the peas and the carrots as it is about the potato. The potato probably could have done with a couple of seconds more, but it's not to such a detriment that makes me not want to eat the dish. Let's go and reveal our scores. Justine, you've just faced off against renowned Italian chef Guy Grossi. The judges have now tasted each of your dishes without knowing who cooked which one and given each dish a score out of 10. And judges, I can now reveal to you that plate one was Justine's. Gary, what did you give plate one? 
go plate one, seven out of ten. The lobster was slightly undercooked, you know, let you down. But to be honest, the beetroot juice, et cetera, it all worked really well together. And I was struggling to know whether or not that was Guy's or Justine's dish. So very well done. Good effort. Matt, what did you think of Justine's dish? I scored plate one, seven out of ten. What a perfect execution of a Russian salad. A little bit soft in the potato, but it held together and it stood proud and handsome on the plate. Well done. A little bit of problems with the lobster, but otherwise, really impressive job, Justine. Congratulations. Thank you. George, what did you give plate one? Six out of ten. The lobster was a little bit undercooked. But that potato salad was delicious. Well done. Thank you. Justine, that's a total of 20 out of 30. Are you happy with that score? Definitely. That's a really good score for a dish that I've never done before. Very happy with it. If Guy scores 20 or less, you will be declared the winner, which means you'll be going straight home to your family. You'll get to skip all the eliminations and all those challenges before returning for the final week of MasterChef. Gary, what score did you give plate two? I scored plate two. Seven out of ten. <laughs> the lobster was cooked perfectly. In terms of plate one, it was a clear difference. But the mayonnaise was really thin. For me, the appeal of the thick mayonnaise in Justine's dish was much more comforting. Matt, what score did you give Guy's dish. I scored your dish. Seven out of ten. Oh. I like my Russian salad. Thick, high, dense, the way just eats. And that, for me, was the difference between the two dishes. But really, Guy, the beautiful way you cook the lobster, the generosity of the lobster on top of the salad, it was a beautiful dish. Thank you, Mr. Preston. Thank you, Mr. Grossi. Justine, you scored a total of 20. Guy, so far, you have scored 14. If you score seven or more right now from George, you will be declared the winner. George, please reveal your score and the winner of the challenge. Seven out of 10. Oh. <laughs> So, Guy, that makes you the winner of today's Celebrity Chef Challenge. I love the dish, the lobster. It was uh, cooked to perfection, and that's really important, especially when you're playing with something so expensive. So, yeah, beautiful. Well, Justine, you were unable to beat Guy Grossi today, but there was one point separating you, which is just incredible. Well done. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to you, Guy, because you were a fantastic mentor, and um, you've taught me so much today. You've been a brilliant pupil. Thank you very much. Thank you. If she keeps up her attitude and keeps up her devotion and dedication to it, she definitely has the makings of a great chef. Mr Guy Grossi, thank you so much for bringing a little bit of Melbourne Italian to the MasterChef kitchen and, of course, teaching Justine your signature dish. So thank you very much for coming. What can I say but parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, Justine. <laughs> Au revoir. Buonasera. Buonasera. <laughs> Good luck to all of you. Buonasera. Yeah, oh, look, Justin can be proud as punch today. She uh, did what she wanted to do and stay calm, delivered a great dish. I think uh, everyone's very proud of her. I think a mum at home would be proud of her. And I think Gary and Georgia Matt are as well, so well done. Justine, beautiful job. After seeing the dish you put up today, I've only got two words to say to you, and they're serious contender. Well done, Justine. We'll see you all back here in the kitchen tomorrow.